Um, I was asked to talk about what Dan means to me, and uh, it was a really hard question for me to wrap my head around. Um, so I'm just going to talk about what I think about when I think of Dan, um, what my memories are. I, I don't think that I've ever seen him not smile. He was always happy. He was always smiling. He was always positive. Um, my uh, history with him was with the Louisiana International Film Festival. I worked with him with two different festivals and a couple different screenings in between, as well as one trip to um, the uh, Poopy, what's the name of the festival? Sundance. Yeah, one trip to Sundance Film Festival in Utah. And yeah, he just, he was always positive whenever we kind of got in a rut and things seemed like they, we were stuck or something, he, he was always willing to offer encouragement and, uh, and willing to be patient. Um, he, uh, the encouragement was really awesome too. We also did a uh, documentary film about the Lincoln Theater here in town that he uh, produced and he was really awesome and very encouraging with everything that we did. Um, I've never seen somebody have more love for movies in my life. Uh, you could ask him about any actor, actress, producer, director, um, whatever, and he would tell you whatever movie they were in. And and um, you could see the light in his eyes light up when talking about it. Um, he always took time to talk to everyone. Um, whenever we worked, he would take time to talk to any of the volunteers as well as uh, any of the people, the patrons, to to um, any of the staff, and and uh, and it was always so kind and sweet. Um, he was a was a great man, and 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 his presence was strong. And um, he already was missed this year at this festival, um, and he will be missed um, years to come. And uh, I can only. Uh, Hope to give condolences to his family and uh, and, uh, and we miss you.